Uh, we're just going to take uh, a second to set up here. Uh, Ariana Gillis is coming up. She's going to uh, play a couple of songs for you. Uh, Ariana has been called by many, many critics. I mean, people that have heard it all as one of the true unique talents. I mean, we're so lucky to have her here. She lives in a town of what, like none now that you're away? I mean, how, how many people in your town? There's, there's a few, there's a few. There's a few. There's, there's a few, there's one less now that you're here, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so two, two left? Yeah. Ariana is, uh, is really a terrific performer. She's uh, not only gonna sing a couple of songs for you, but she is also going to um, talk to you about her relationship to this. So, good to go? A little bit more guitar on my monitor, please. That's music speak. One, two, three, four. That's good. That's awesome. Hello. I'm going to sing some songs for you. This song is called The Maze.
So I grew up in a small town. Um, I've traveled a lot, a lot across North America. I've played a lot of places, met a lot of people. Um, and I've had my fair, fair share of struggles. Um, body image related, lots of stuff there for sure. Um, and lots of depression too. Um, there was a time when I wanted to completely give up music altogether um, because I was consistently told that I was not good enough or was not the person that they wanted me to be. And by they, I mean any record company, any manager, any booking agent, it really didn't matter. I would get all these different people saying, you need to be this, you need to dress like this, you need to look like this, you need to write like this, you need to sing like this, because if you don't, you're not gonna get anywhere. And this went on for about a year, and I was, um, I was just sinking further and further into, into depression and, and just hating music. I couldn't even look at my guitar, I couldn't write anymore. I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life anymore. And um, there was actually a turning point for me um, when I went and I, I played this like really crappy, crappy gig. It was actually just a little like kind of dinky house concert. And there's, there's no amplification, just everybody sitting in their living rooms. And um, maybe like 15 people, you know, on a couch, drinking coffee, watching me play. And I realized that I really did not give a shit anymore. I didn't care. I wasn't gonna be who they wanted me to be. I was gonna be myself. And, and that was one of the best shows I've played, honestly, because I had just completely let go of, of everything. And um, this next song, it's called, uh, it's called Blush, and it's, it's kind of about that, about, you know, being on stage and um, I guess pretending, pretending to be someone you're not because you think that that's who you have to be to get people to like you. And that's not the case. That's never the case. No 
Thank you very much. You know, before when I, uh, I, got, I got, I think I got him to stand for, who was it? Was it, was it Rich? Hold on one sec. You know, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, I was playing with you guys and you were playing with me, but that is unbelievably genuine and wonderful and absolutely so touching. Thank you so much, Ariana. If, before you go, so you were saying that you got tired of being somebody else on stage. I think it's on. Uh, probably not, no. Doesn't sound like it. Okay. There it is. <laughs> so you said that you got tired of trying to be somebody else. What would we have seen pre you coming out and saying, this is me? How would that have been different? I would probably be a lot more scared. Um, not as confident, that's for sure. Um, I felt like I was being held back from who I was and I guess the way I perform and sing. And uh, there was a time before I met all those people that I was myself and I was fine and I was feeling really good. And then I guess just the more people that you meet who think that they know what they're talking about, um, you just get all in your head about things and you just think that maybe you're wrong. When, uh, wh what's next for you, album-wise? Um, I'm actually working on a new album right now, so I'm super excited, yeah. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out whether this is the time to use the first F-bomb <laughs> that apparently you're allowed to do in Woodstock, but let me say, you're fucking incredible. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you, guys.